Why are Golden Bachelorette fans raving over Pascal Ebgiv? Although some Golden Bachelorette fans had some early red flags for Joan Vasso's suitor, Pascal Ebge, now many are coming around. Undeniably, he has many quirks that make him a true character among Joan's men. While his dashing looks and expensive clothes are attractive, fans are seeing even more of the appealing suitor. During the Golden Bachelorette Episode 3, Joan Vasso's suitor Pascal Ebge is starting to win some points with viewers. Although he had turned some people off with his focus on having plenty of money to whisk Joan away, he is starting to come back into good graces with fans. Originally, fans thought he might be too high maintenance with his expensive suits and eagerness to pawn off work on others. Likewise, others thought he was a little too smooth with the ladies for their liking. Jonathan even notes that some people are watchers and others are workers. He coined the phrase, gazers and grazers, to demonstrate how Pascal and others weren't the cooks of the bunch. However, when he goes on the one-on-one -on -one date with Joan, fans get a new perspective of Pascal. In the Golden Baccalaureate Episode 3, Joan Vassos gets to make a quick trip to Paris possible with a jet plane to Las Vegas. Although it wasn't home for Pascal Ebge, it was a magical trip to leave their cares behind. It mimicked the idea that Pascal had the means to take Joan to Paris at the drop of a hat. While they had a great time in their casino getaway, the dinner was the opportunity for Pascal to let down his guard. Instead of the hoity-toity facade he normally displays, he broke away the mask to reveal he lived a different life before America. Likewise, he mentions that people often judge a book by its cover, and he has an entire story. Peeling back the layers, he admits his childhood was riddled with pain. Not only was there a lack of money, but he also talked about not having parents who showed affection or encouragement. Even though he had a rough start, he learned to give himself affirmations of hope for a good future. Furthermore, he has pulled himself up by his bootstraps to create the posh Chicago hair salon he has now. Not only did he pull on Joan's heartstrings, but he also helped Bachelor Nation fans understand how he became the man he is now. In the end, he received a rose after showing his heart on his pretty woman date. But the Golden Bachelorette fans are raving about more than Pascal Ibby's heart. When Pascal and Joan were picking out their outfits for the evening affair, he revealed a hidden secret. As he took his shirt off, fans couldn't believe there was a six-pack beneath. On X, a user points out, I can only pray to be in as good of shape as Pascal when I get to 69. Hashtag the Golden Baccalaureate. Another exclaims, not Pascal being kinda ripped. Lol hashtag the Golden Baccalaureate. Furthermore, some says, Pascal is an excellent shape for 69. Hashtag the Golden Baccalaureate. So while Pascal may not be the man for cooking, cleaning, or tolerating snoring, there is more than initially meets the eye. Unmistakably, he is adventurous and spontaneous, which is thrilling for Joan. What do you think about Pascal Ebge? Do you think he is a good fit for Joan Vassos? Are you enjoying the Golden Baccalaureate? Drop your comments below.